Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In last video, we have understand the realistic structure of Expo as well as the native CLI also. In this video, I am going to explain you how you can create hello world kind of application using function component. And in next video, I will show you how you can create hello world application using class component. So for that, you see that I create here one directory, I say component like this. Under this component directory, I just uh, create one file, I say hello world, hello world.jsx. And here I create function component like this, hello world, you see. And in this function component in place of div because we can't use div here. So I'm using a text. You see, I'm using a text here. So I replace div with text and like this. And I import this here. I say import text from React Native like this. And I save this. You see that we have this functional component. Hello world. Here I'm typing this or it displaying hello world like this and I can say that hello world of react native expo go like this and this is the functional component so I can use this so in place of this text component because this is not required now I can use my component that is hello world so I import this component here and I save it. You see we have done this and what is the mean of this style what is the mean of this style sheet create function how it is useful we will see in next videos also but here i am just explaining you that how you can create a simple hello world of component functional component and you type some message here and how you will display this here in place of this text so i just try to run this i say npm start so it will start my project of react expo you see it is starting this and it will ask to run in a web or android because i have a window pc so it asking for android on web if i have a mac pc then it will ask for ios and web so i have explained in last video how you can run this on a web i press w and it will try to run on a web because these packages are not installed on this project so just copy this and install and it will also run on web how to install it how to run it i have explained in my previous video here just i press once again a for running in android so it will run this project on android it will run emulator also this is the android studio emulator so better to have this android studio should be installed on your machine or your system and how to install this i have explained in previous video also so you see when i will run it so it will execute this and it will display uh, this hello world message so it's trying to execute you see that if sometime we have this and already the application is open so we can uh, press r for refreshing so it will reload this on this application on this device so it's saying the reloading and it is stalling again you see that installation is completed it will display here you see hello world of react native expo go so this component is a functional component so we use functional component to display hello world application here this environment is just similar to react environment if you familiar with react you will understand that how to create this component functional component and you using here you see like this way and in next video we will see how you can replace this functional component to the class component and how we can call it here we will see in next video so this is the output if you understand it how to do this if you learn something if you learn something from this video please do subscribe thank you for watching this video